Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2021. And will you please rise it's as you are able and remove your headgear. Our flag is in the back of the gymnasium and we will hear the Star Spangled Banner. You may have noticed our class president, Mr. Brendan Halloran, with his ceremonial mace. He will use that through the ceremony to help his class rise and be seated. And he will pass that mace to the president of the now junior class, which has already risen to be our senior class of 2022. It's a small tradition, but one we keep alive through the years. Speaking of this class, they've had a great set of class officers. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to, of course, you've met President Brendan Halloran, the Vice President, Shea Obishan, Secretary Luke Dowd, Treasurer Eric Mikola, and Historian Jenna Petruzzi. They would like to come up to the lectern at this time and introduce you to their class advisors one of whom is a bittersweet thank you as Mr. James Whittemore is retiring this year. When we first started high school four years ago, we had no idea who Ms. Mrs. White and Mr. Whittemore were. Fast forward to the end of senior year, and we wouldn't have made it through high school without them. Mrs. White, we could always count on you to help us out when we were in the office. You know how to put a smile on our faces when we need it the most. When we were looking for someone to plan a fundraiser or event with us, you were our go-to. Between dealing with Mr. Whittemore as your co-advisor and dealing with our class as a whole, we know you were under a great amount of stress, and we cannot show enough appreciation to you for all you've done for us. Mr. Woodmore, from our first day of world history freshman year to our very last day of senior year, you were the one to lead the way for us. You dedicated so much of your time and effort into not only the class of 2021, but the school as a whole. Whenever one of us was having a bad day, we could rely on you to make it better. If we needed somewhere to go and take a break, we knew your door was open. You always told us, these, are event these events are only as fun as you kids make them. So we did just that and carried that advice with us throughout our four years. The class of 2021 cannot thank you guys enough for everything you did to get us to where we are today. We truly couldn't have done it without you, and we wouldn't have wanted to complete these last four years with anyone else by our sides. We have a little gift for both of you.
And at this time, Brendan will give his president's address. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to start off by, thank, by saying thank you for coming. I would also like to thank our class advisors, Mr. Whittemore and Mrs. White, for helping to make our high school experience as fun as possible. While this past year or so has been, to put it simply, less than ideal, I want to congratulate all of you on your resilience and perseverance to keep pushing forward when times were tough and when it felt as if so many things were uncertain. All of you should be extremely proud of what you have accomplished so far, and you should be excited for what you will be able to accomplish in the future. Every one of you has shaped my high school experience in one way or another. You have given me a great four years here at David Prouty, which I wouldn't change for anything. This class has grown a lot since the start of high school. From being told freshman year that there was a pool on the roof to being finally able to use the senior stairs, this class has really flourished under some extremely difficult circumstances. While the ride has not always been smooth, it's over and all of you guys made it, so I want to say congratulations to every one of you. While this chapter of your life is coming to a close, that only means that the next one is beginning. But the best thing about the book of life is that you're the one who gets to write it, and I know that there are some great authors in here. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It's my great pleasure to introduce to you all our superintendent of schools, Dr. Paul Hahi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome uh, to this evening's commencement. I was asked to give a few words, uh, so before we begin, I just want to start off by saying um, congratulations to the class of 2021. You've made it. And uh, I know it's been a wild ride, but you've done a great job and done it with a lot of style and a lot of class. So again, many, many congratulations to you and to your moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, and everyone in the audience in attendance this evening. Thank you for everything you have done to help these young people get to this place because as we've clearly uh, demonstrated throughout the pandemic, uh, it can't happen without a village. So uh, to each and every person up here this evening, I just want to again say congratulations. Uh, I was asked to give some uh, thoughts prior to concluding uh, to the class of 2021. And quite frankly, I really struggled to come up with something that makes some sense uh, for me. But I had earlier in, say, August of last year, uh, a colleague of mine reach out and give me some simple rules and uh, he, these are not mine, they're actually something from the internet, but I thought it was pertinent and definitely fit uh, the story in the book of life with so many wonderful authors that Mr. Halloran you mentioned. Uh, and I think it fits quite well. So this is the uh, advice I would like to pass on to you as the superintendent of schools and all that you do. A simple formula for living, live, Beneath your means, return everything you borrow. Stop blaming other people. Admit it when you make a mistake. Give clothes not worn to charity. Do something nice and try not to get caught. Listen more, talk less. Every day, take a 30 minute walk. Strive for excellence, not perfection. Be on time, don't make excuses. Don't argue, get organized, be kind to unkind people, let someone cut ahead of you in line, take time to be alone, cultivate good manners, be humble, 
realize and accept that life is not fair and know when to keep your mouth closed. Go an entire day without criticizing anyone and make sure to always learn from your past, plan for the future, and live in the present. And lastly, don't sweat the small stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It's all small stuff. And Mr. Halloran, I couldn't agree with you more. You've got some great authors in this class with you. And I wish each and every one of you nothing but the best in all you do in your futures. Please know you have a home here at David Prouty. And uh, this will always be your home. So feel free to come back at your leisure anytime. Uh, and again, many congratulations to each and every one of you in the class of 2021. The salutatorian of a class is a pursuit that begins deep in the darkness of freshman year, when others are figuring out where their lockers might be. The future salutatorian is doing homework. When others are going to the movies, the salutatorian is doing homework. When the parents would like to do something fun, the salutatorian wants to cut it short because the salutatorian has to do homework. It's a remarkable achievement, and it's not done alone. It takes an entire family to produce a student dedicated enough to academics to finish four years of high school study with the second highest GPA in the class. Let's hear a few words from this year's salutatorian, the really extraordinary Miss Rhea Negron. Hello, class of 2021. Hello to parents, friends, teachers, staff, and administrators. Our time at David Prouty has finally come to an end. Today is the day to celebrate all the memories we are lucky enough to share. To, our high school experience was unique in that we have such a small class size. I feel as though our bond runs deeper than graduating classes of 500. When I look at my class, I only see familiar faces. At David Prouty, you are more than just a number. You are a valued member of our community. It makes it much easier to become involved. Whether that is sports, clubs, academics, or band, you do not have to be the most talented to be appreciative. I have loved being able to try new things and pursue whatever interests me. I moved to Spencer in the eighth grade, and when high school started, I largely felt like an outsider. One way that I felt welcomed into a tight-knit community was through David Prouty's traditions. The things that I'm going to remember when I leave here are the spirit days and those feelings of excitement that accompanied them. At Spirit Days, we competed at grades, making posters and competing in mini games. Everyone got involved and there was a healthy dose of competitiveness between grades. I will never forget my first pep rally where the school chanted, sit down freshmen, and a lot of us took the bait and actually sat down. <laughs> that was embarrassing, and at that moment, I could not wait to be an upperclassman. We showed our proudy pride on extreme black and orange days through dressing up in our school colors. I felt like I belonged, and the activities gave us something to look forward to throughout the year. Many traditions like powder puff, and fo powder puff football and deck the halls were organized by Mr. Whittemore, our student council advisor. It is up to the next wave of David Prouty students to keep these traditions alive now that Mr. Whittemore is retiring. These traditions are truly as fun as you make them. Something that I am really grateful for is the support we have had from our teachers and staff. I want to say a huge thank you to the teachers, guidance counselors, and staff members of David Prouty that have been mentors to us. Although I have learned so much in these last four years, not all of these lessons were academic. One teacher in particular stands out to me for his message of kindness. Mr. D was one of the most selfless individuals whom I had ever met. He was silly, benevolent, and cared immensely about the well-being of his students. He wanted his students to feel appreciated and loved to honor students on their birthday. On your birthday, he would give you a dollar and the class would do a special birthday clap for you. 
It sounds silly, but it meant a lot to his students. Many saved this dollar as a keepsake. I still have mine somewhere. The class of 2021 was one of the last groups to experience Mr. D's generosity and legacy as one of the most beloved teachers. Mr. D set an example for all of us on how to be compassionate. He lives in all of us, and as we go out in the world, we can pass on his legacy through our own kindness. As Mr. D would say, thank you for the gift of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Excellent address, Rhea. Thank you so much. There is another student who did a lot of homework. Rhea was the student with the second highest GPA after four years of academic study. Our valedictorian finished with the highest GPA. They went back and forth a lot, though, and it ended up pretty close. They both did a lot of work and they've represented David Prouty in a really fabulous way. At this time, we will hear from the valedictorian of the class of 2021, Mr. Brendan Halloran. I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you to my teachers, friends, and family for all helping me to get to the spot where I am today. To my teachers, all of you guys challenged me in new and unique ways that enabled me to grow and prosper as a scholar. Without you guys, I would not be speaking before you all today. I would also like to thank all of my friends. All of you, all of you guys made those days where school felt totally unbearable, a lot more bearable, and you guys made each and every class a fun one to be in. You guys made school fun, which drove me to come to school every day and to work hard. I would also like to thank my family. None of this would have, been, would have been possible without you guys. To my sisters, Michaela and Fiona, you guys helped me to realize the importance of academics from a young age, even when I really didn't want to hear it. I still remember when I was no more than six years, six years old, you guys would force me to play arguably your favorite game and objectively my least favorite game, which you so creatively called school. <laughs> Michaela was the oldest, so she was automatically the teacher. Fiona was the second oldest, which means she was the teacher's assistant, and I had no say in the matter, so I was the student. I vividly remember one day I really did not want to play school, and Michaela told me, you can't leave school in real life, so you can't leave here either, and then proceeded to explain what fractions were and how to add and, th and subtract them. I would, I would next like to thank my mom. You have made me the person I am today, all while giving me nothing but love and compassion. You have been the best mother anyone could ask for, and I'm so grateful to know that, that no matter what, I'll always have your support along the way. And finally, I would like to thank the person that this speech is dedicated to, my dad. Dad, you have given me so much and taught me so much throughout the years, from how to shoot a basketball and how to throw a football, to how to treat everyone with respect. Even in tough times, you still manage to put others before yourself and to act so selflessly. You taught me the importance of having good character and how to treat everyone you meet with kindness. You truly are the definition of a role model and I'm so lucky to be, able to, to be able to call you my dad. Thank you to everyone because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. You have all helped me tremendously along the way and made me the person I am and for that, I will be forever grateful. Thank you. That was an excellent address. Thank you, Brendan. At this time, it is my very great pleasure to introduce Mr. Robert Berthew, who is the president of the Permanent Scholarship Committee. He'd like to speak a little bit about the Permanent Scholarship Committee, and then we'd like to give these young people some money to go to college with. Does that sound good to everyone? Good evening. On behalf of the David Prouty High School Permanent Scholarship Fund, I want to thank Principal York, and I especially want to thank the class of 
2021 for allowing us to particip participate tonight in uh, the celebration. Uh, the scholarship fund started 47 years ago. The fund is currently managed by 11 trustees, including six alumni, class of 70, two former Prouty teachers, Principal York and Mr. Uh, Tom Miller. Uh, the committee solicits funds from local businesses, residents of Spencer and East Brookfield, and Prouty alumni during its annual fund drive, which just ended, but that doesn't mean you can't send money throughout the year. We appreciate that. <laughs> Memorial contributions uh, have become a sizable segment of uh, fund over time. Student applications are reviewed by a joint committee of trustees and Prouty staff, and awards are given based on academic achievement, involvement in extracurricular activities, and community activities. Since its inception, the committee has awarded over $2 million in scholarship for Prouty graduates. It's amazing. We want to thank the community and all the people and the businesses. Uh, we hope they keep this going, so keep sending that money. It's great. Uh, tonight, it gives me great pleasure to announce that we will be, giving, uh, be awarding 17 scholarships, totaling over $40,000. So the Permanent Scholarship Committee wishes the entire gra graduation class much happiness and its success in all your future endeavors. And on a personal note, uh, I always say this at graduation, I don't know why, but I, I, like this, I like the quote. As you go through life, don't look down on anyone unless you're helping them up. So remember that. Now along with Principal York, we can hand out some money to you Beautiful children, right? not children, young adults. So let's give them some money. All right. This year's FlexCon scholarship. Lamoureau Forward Scholarship and Howe Lumber Scholarship are all awarded to Brendan Halloran. <laughs> the Derek Gaudet Memorial, Arnold A. Arsenault Sr. Memorial, the Raymond Auger Memorial, and the Patrick Newell Memorial go to Serena Roberts. The Francis E. and Rachel E. McQuaid Memorial, the Richard Gaudet Memorial, and the Caitlin Langloy Memorial go to Rhea Negron. The Patricia Corson Scholarship, the Philip DeLongchamp Memorial, and the Viola Paisan Memorial go to Jenna Petruzzi. <laughs> the Webster First Federal Credit Union Scholarship, the Mercury Wire Scholarship, and the St. Joseph's Abbey Scholarship go to Daniel Bowen. <laughs> the Cole Victor Memorial, the Kelly Houston Memorial, and the William Keyes Senior Memorial are awarded to Kara Fancy.
the DPHS Permanent Scholarship, the Spencer Exchange Club Scholarship, and the American Legion Scholarship go to Eric Mikola. The John Sobolewski Memorial, the Gino Waugh Memorial, the First Lieutenant Mark S. Williamson U.S. Marine Corps Memorial, and the Hicks Family in Memory of Gerald Hicks Scholarship go to Shea Obishon. The Morin family, Alfred Morin Sr., the Philip Quinn Memorial, the Cloutier Family Scholarship, the Eleanor Small Downey Memorial, and the Monette Family Scholarship go to Jason Brewster. the Spencer Agricultural Association, and the Spencer Democratic Town Committee scholarships go to Luke Dowd. The 308 Lakeside Scholarship, the Burkhume Equipment, and the Agnesia Shanahan DMD Scholarship go to Billy Lascom. The E.M. Tebow Excavation Scholarship and the Houston's Pool Service Scholarships go to Megan Elliott. <laughs> the Vision Source Scholarship and the C.R. Wilson Insurance Award go to Samantha Busold. The Cormier Jewelers Award and the Chef Sow Scholarship go to Taylor Wood. And the Ahern Equipment Scholarship and the Barnes Enterprises Scholarships go to Lillian Ramos. Thank you so much, Mr. Berthume, and thank you to the Scholarship Committee. Well, it's what we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna ask Dr. Hahi and Mr. Monnet to give me a hand as we give out some diplomas. The first diploma is awarded to Brendan Halloran. Michael Obishan. Luke John Dowd. Eric Antonio Mikola. Jenna Barbara Petruzzi. <laughs> Rhea Elora Negron.
Serena Lee Roberts. Daniel Paul Bowen. Mika Michelle Dupuy. Madison Sue Perry. Allison Kate Benham. Zoe Anais Villegas. Janice Gail Sarte. Caitlin Jade Bossy. Catherine Diana Reyes. <laughs> Nina Mary Ferraro. <laughs> Victoria Rose McGowan. Cara Fancy. <laughs> Riley Lauren Bishop. <laughs> Christine Olson. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Elliott. Carly Ryan Audet. <laughs> Avriana Jasmine De Jesus. <laughs> Lily Ramos. Bethany Claire Lindstedt. <laughs> Casey Marie O'Gara. <laughs> Marissa Joan Hopes. Reagan Hingston. <laughs> Mariana Kylan Chase. Miles Reese Wilcox. Zechariah Bertrand. Billy Lascom. Avery Allison Valley. Sa 
Zachary Earl Payne. Shannon Rose Dwyer. Jacob Colette. Ashton Casey. Isabella Gomes. Taylor Wood. Trevor Grenier. Samia Jillian Welsh. Michaela Marguerite Desiree Grenier. Jason Michael Brewster. David Acevedo. <laughs> Brian Paul Ham. <laughs> Damar Trenchfield. Justin Charpentier. <laughs> Melvin Muthiora. <laughs> At this time, Brendan will have the rest of the class rise. Dr. Hahi, Mr. Monnet, do I have your permission to certify the diplomas of these graduates? Then graduates, at this time, you may move your tassel from the right to the left. You are
Please be seated. Graduates, since the day you walked into Prouty's doors, your teachers and your secretaries have shown you a lot of grace, patience, empathy, compassion, and love. Every one of you is known by us. Every one of you is cared about by us. All we ask is that you pay it forward. Love people, care about them, empathize with them, give them second, third, fourth chances. People deserve it, and you do too. You're a remarkable, amazing class. We love you, and we wish you all the best. I'm going to have Brendan raise you up again, and we're going to recess you out of here to your family celebrations. Be safe, make smart decisions, and congratulations. Congratulations, everyone, that ends our exercises.